And welcome back. Definitely a busy day out of Park Point today. No doubt why. Temperatures climbing into the mid and upper 80s for most of us. Excuse me, low to mid 80s for most of us. Park Point got to 84 degrees today. You can see a bunch of people out there, including a lot of college students, I guess. They're letting off some steam before finals week. You know, if I wasn't working, I'd probably be out there today too as well. But today's high at Duluth International climbed to 83 degrees, so definitely a warm day. Take a look what average is. Average is 57 degrees, well above average. Got to 83 down at Duluth, uh, down, uh, Park Point. They got to 84. Then take a look at some places like Moose Lake, 88 degrees, as well as Aiken. They were two degrees shy of hitting that 90 degree mark. That's just Unbelievable. On places up north, a little bit cooler though. You can see 73 in Grand Marais, 75 in Ely, 79 in Orr as well. Don't think that 49 in Grand Marais is accurate. <laughs> I don't think they were quite that cool. And temperatures elsewhere across the region, you can see 84 in Ashland, 86 degrees in Solon Springs, and 85 in Hayward. So definitely a warm and mild day on that note. But just take a look at what, how April capped out for us. April was just kind of a mixed bag of all over the place. Temperature wise, you had some days that were way above average and other days that were way below average. All said and done, we saw 18 degrees, 18, excuse me, 18 days above average, 11 days below average. And for the month of April, we were 1.4 degrees above average. April was also a rather wet month. You can see that we had 22 days of at least some rain, only eight days that were completely dry. So hopefully those April showers are going to be giving way to May flowers real soon. Taking a look at the satellite and radar right now, though, as you can see, just dealing with a little bit of rain showers off to the north of the Twin Ports, especially towards the international border. I think those could persist throughout the night tonight, as well as as we head into the day tomorrow. And also you can see a few more uh, rain showers just off to our south southern Minnesota, as well as points south towards Rice Lake, and as well as the Twin Cities. They might be dealing with a little bit of rain right now as well. So here's how the forecast shapes up for the rest of the night tonight. As we fast forward through the rest of the night tonight, clouds begin to build in on association of our next rainmaker that begins to work its way into the region tomorrow as well as Monday. So this is midnight tonight. So you can see the clouds are basically built in by this point, looking at partly the mostly cloudy skies overnight for the night tonight. And as we head towards tomorrow morning, we might begin to see a little bit of sunshine again and temperatures are, you know, rather mild. Temperatures tonight only fall back into the upper 40s, lower 50s for most. Some of you might be even close to the 60 degree mark tonight. Then as we head towards tomorrow afternoon and evening, once again, see a little bit for you more rain showers begin to fire up across the state, especially up north and points south again. Don't know if we're really going to be seeing much in terms of rain for us here in the Twin Ports though, but temperatures are a lot cooler because we have a lake breeze in place. So temperatures tomorrow probably 25 to 30 degrees cooler than they were today. Then as we fast forward towards Monday, that's when we get to begin to see some more rain fire up through Monday morning. It seems like that's going to last through the day on Monday and may even see a little bit of rain for us here in the Twin Ports. But then fast forward towards Monday night into Tuesday morning, we begin to dry things out once again, but temperatures a lot cooler than we there were today. That is for sure. So here's your forecast for tonight. Temperatures fall back into the mid and upper 40s. 45 degrees for us here in Duluth, 46 in Solon Springs, 46 as well in Hibbing, 42 in Ely, 43 degrees in Silver Bay. High temperatures for tomorrow. You can tell that lake breeze is in place because you're looking at a high temperature of 54 for us here in Duluth, but then 71 in Grand Rapids, still 71 degrees in Hibbing. So a lot, still a lot cooler. That trend is all across the board statewide tomorrow. And here's how the seven day forecast shapes up. Over the next seven days, you can see we're not quite as warm, but I really can't complain about the seven day forecast. Temperatures steadily climbing as we head through the mid part of next week into the mid and upper 50s. Yeah, that 50s tomorrow is going to feel really chilly yeah. after today. Kind of makes me grateful that we're not outside enjoying it, or at least maybe that's the silver <laughs> lining I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, thanks, Peter. No problem. Well, new research looks at the benefits of vitamin D for people with dark skin, plus the CDC eases mask restrictions for vaccinated people. Femi Redwood has a look at this week's top health stories. The CDC says fully vaccinated people no longer need to wear masks all the time. According to the new recommendations, if outside, fully vaccinated individuals can exercise, attend small gatherings, and even dine at outdoor restaurants without covering their face. 